folks, and welcome back to Instant Screaming. Today we're continuing to plumb the depths of found footage with The Presence and The Ouija Experiment. The Ouija Experiment is on Netflix, and I think I found The Presence on Amazon Prime, but that might also be on Netflix. You should be able to find it on one of the two. The Presence is a German film about three 20-something friends who break into an abandoned castle in the country with a history of murders, hoping to film supernatural events for a university project. But tensions run high and the group unravels when they seem to get way more activity than they hoped for. Now the movie itself is a pretty stock standard found footage variation of the Cabin in the Woods formula and visually and structurally they seem to be trying very very hard to basically be paranormal activity. They borrow the computer reviews of the video, the low hum, the night vision angles, the basic structure and the tendency to smash cut from the day to the middle of the night. But while Paranormal Activity was fresh and good, this is not only worn out, it's awful at it. Uh, most of the activity feels like it's just going down a list and there seems to be no adequately explained reason for them not to immediately leave as soon as things start to go south. The actual delivery of the scares with the camera glitches and everything is far too aggressive and ham-fisted to actually be spooky. And the story randomly jumps ahead unknown spans of time and has this confusing tendency to stick seemingly random frames in the middle of other scenes, like the video was edited in a blender. It's pretty uninspired and fades easily into the glut of forgotten found footage clones, which is unfortunate because that would have been a cool setting. Now, I've discussed the unfortunately underwhelming sequel to the Ouija Experiment before, but this is the OG. So the Ouija Experiment is about a guy who invites several of his friends over to play with a Ouija board, and one of them happens to be trying to grow a YouTube channel so he brings his camera. They lose focus on the rules of the Ouija board when they're distracted by personal drama and become haunted. Now one thing I do want to mention is that this is not a mockbuster. This movie came out something like three years before the big budget Ouija, although it probably got a pretty good marketing boost from that one. Now. I'm not calling this scary in any real way. It's just fun, like a good haunted house. Now this movie gets by on just being charmingly endearing. It's really embraced the limits of its budget and found footage instead of trying to fight with them. The characters aren't particularly multi-dimensional, but they're played with a lot of charm, which isn't to say that the acting is great, I just think they were cast very, very well. I like that they would sort of grudgingly start cameras because of their friend who always wants to record everything, which is kind of a fun way of acknowledging how just ridiculous it is to constantly have cameras recorded. There's a fair amount of stuff that happens off screen because having a camera on it wouldn't make sense and the movie just lets that happen instead of awkwardly trying to force a camera onto it. This is not great by any stretch of the imagination, but it is strangely entertaining and feels like a movie that didn't try to overachieve and just got really lucky. Alright folks, that's it for today since he's screaming. Hopefully that helps you out. If you have any movies that you want to talk about, head up the comments section below. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more videos. You can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, you can contribute to the Patreon campaign, or just let me know how you'd like to keep in touch. Anyway, cheers.